Good afternoon, this is David with the Sear Talon Series. Today we're going to give a quick review on this Remora Concealable in the Waistband holster. This holster uh, does not feature a clip. And uh, it's for the size Glock 19, 23, 32, also the Ruger SR9, Beretta Storm, or any other large frame automatic with 3.5 to 4 inch barrel. This particular one is the 10ART. And I specially ordered it that way. That's the way that I wanted it. I did not want a reinforced top, nor did I want a sweat shield of any sort. And I wanted the combat cut. This is the Gen 4 Glock 19, no magazine, no ammunition in the chamber. It's a safe and clear firearm. The MMP 40C, no magazine, no ammunition in the chamber. It's a safe and clear firearm. And this fits both of them very nicely. Uh, also fits my SW 9940. At first, I was a little, a uh, little leery about ordering and wearing something like this, but for the $25, 30 dollar price point I thought it was worth a try and it's very practical it it works uh, just like a, a pocket holster would but has this skin on it that's basically like a basketball or football skin on steroids it's very grippy high friction uh, really cool material and it, uh, it it rides really well it's very comfortable uh, pretty minimal on the the thickness of it which is nice so very practical its durability it's not something that I would throw down the road it's not cowhide it's not horsehide uh, or kydex it's you know it's a synthetic material of some sort so maybe not as durable as some of those materials but understandably so as far as wearability uh, I've worn this up to two and a half three hours comfortably I could have gone uh, all day with it so it wears real nice very comfortable Distributes the pressure points real good. You know, there's there's no sharp edges, no no big uh, edges or anything like that that are gonna put a pressure point on you, something like that. So very very flat, very uh, pressure distribution looks very good on it. Um, what's cool about wearing this is that you can adjust the cant and you can adjust the height that it rides in your waistband cross draw, appendix carry, uh, right hand from 3 to 5 o'clock, small of the back, left hand uh, 9 to 11. It's uh, ambidextrous, so it, that's, that's really, uh, it's really a neat idea, really cool. I really can't say enough good things about it. I've enjoyed it every time I put it on. Uh, just kind of a, a really neat idea that I, uh, I think is pretty cool. Uh, as far as the dislikes, I, I really can't can't think of many dislikes on this. I mean, it it really you can't really compare it to anything else, like a Kydex holster. Uh, obviously, no clip. It doesn't retain its shape like Kydex, but you're not gaining all that bulk. Uh, they're about the same weight. It's it's real lightweight. Um, nothing there. I would compare it maybe to the Glock Tech MIG as far as width goes and weight because both of them, like I said, are real lightweight. Uh, obviously, the minimal inside carry, you're not gaining any width on the firearm. This you are gaining some width on when it's inside, but it's, it's pretty minimal itself, so not, um, not too much there. It's really well made really uh, impressed with that no threads sticking out you can see uh, initials and some sort of number handwritten in there uh, double stitching on the bottom here and uh, yeah I think it's pretty cool for the $30 uh, shipped price point I really I, it's unbeatable in my opinion and, and I've searched high and low for a lot of these uh, holsters to review for you guys and to try out for myself so um, you really don't have a, uh, a big loss of investment if you don't like it. I'm sure that you'd be able to find somebody who'd gladly take it off your hands. But pick one up off their website and give it a try. Hope you've enjoyed this tabletop review of the Remora holster. Talk to you guys later. Bye.